everybody, it's Daniel here, and I'm gonna share this quick video about Batch Leads. I was actually in this account doing a little bit of house cleaning, and I thought this would be a great moment to make a video just to kind of share with you guys just some insider tips on really how to just update your marketing list and do a little bit of house cleaning, right? So if you use Batch Leads over a period of time, every time you upload a new list, uh, create new tags, over a period of time, you really, it can get a little congestion with tags. And obviously you wanna keep your list, uh, main list clean. So for an example, like pre foreclosures and liens would be a great example. So if you're the type of investor that's doing weekly list of pulling from uh, pre foreclosures or auctions or monthly with liens, of course over months ahead of time, right? You're gonna have all these old months of properties that are probably no longer relevant, right? In that list who might not have a lien anymore, might obviously might not be in pre foreclosure anymore. So obviously you wanna get them out of your list. So you're not having to do a list, include this tag, exclude this tag, and you got all these lists of tags. So I'm just gonna show you just some simple things that you can do for yourself inside your account just to help you stay clean, not as congested, and make sure your list is always up to date. So I'm kind of just go through an example just using pre foreclosures. So for example, let's say I have a lot of right now, we're heading into April and I just got my new list uh, of that I just pulled from April. So we use property radar for our foreclosures and auctions just because it's the best, they do happen to have the best uh, pre foreclosure and auction data. And so let's say, I just wanna make sure my pre-foreclosure list is up to date and I'm getting rid of properties that are no longer on the pre-foreclosure list anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and obviously export this, even though a lot of these properties I might have, might already skip trace, doesn't matter, doesn't need to be skip trace. I'm gonna go ahead and export, obviously this list, cause this is the current pre-foreclosure list. And I would obviously go through the same motions of importing. So for an example, let's say this is up to date one, I'm gonna go through it obviously match my data. Yes. And of course for list, I am going to put, you know, um, this is single family. So NOD, NOD single family. And then of course for my tag, I'm going to put uh, NOD April. This is my April fresh list or NOD, you know, four nine. So I know I pulled this list on April 9th, right? So I go through that motions. I'm not going to submit it because this list is already submitted. Just kind of showing you guys an example. So let's say I submit this. Well, to get rid of the properties that are not on the new April, well, yeah. So to get rid of the properties that are currently in a pre-foreclosure list, but are not in pre-foreclosure anymore, they're not in the new April list. What essentially I do is I come here to filters. I would search list, my NOD SFR, single family. And then for tags, right, I would exclude the new list, which would be the new tag, which would be, where is it at? NOD April, I would exclude that and then include let's see, NOD March. So obviously I only wanted to show me the properties that were on the March list that are not on the April list. And then I would just hit apply filters. Then that way it would show me the properties. Like I just said that we're on the March list, but are not on the April list. Cause that tells me they're no longer in pre foreclosure. And then of course I would then select them and then of course, you know, delete them. So let's just pretend that these are the ones go to action and then you can go tag and then remove the tag. So that way they are no longer on your pre foreclosure list or actually not tagged list. You would remove them from the list. So that way the old properties are no longer on your pre foreclosure list. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I know I kind of rambled a little bit quickly. I was doing this and I thought, man, this would be a great video just to share with you guys, just to kind of help you make sure that your lists are updated because, you know, especially when it comes to your pre foreclosure data or auction data, you don't want to be filtering through multiple tags. I just like to keep the main one, like single family, NOD, a condo entity, a multi-fam NOD. Always want to make sure it's just up to date, clean. So if I ever need to push that over to an RVM, to my cool callers, to a texting campaign for another follow-up, I can just literally click pre foreclosure. I know it's the up to date, export that and push it to any other platform that I need. So that's how I would do it, especially with liens as well too. Once a month, um, definitely update your liens. Just use that really just it's, um, you know, include the last time you did it and then exclude 
the new list you just uploaded, which will give you the properties that are no longer on the new fresh pre foreclosure list, auction list, lanes list, or any of that stuff. So if you have don't have batch suites, um, I definitely highly rec highly recommend to get this. It's an awesome tool for managing your data, uh, especially if you hate using Excel spreadsheets. If you want to check it out, the links are below. And of course, if you buy through a link, we definitely appreciate it. We are an affiliate and we hook you up with some awesome bonuses. A lot of awesome bonuses like our goal settings, seller appointment, advanced agreement, resource guide. If you're a ClickFunnels user, we hook you up with all of our landing pages. We even hook you up with access to our Go Big print shop, which gives you access to cheap letters and cheap postcards that you won't find mostly anywhere else, really. And of course, if you're new to Batch Leads and you get this account, I will literally go into your county. You tell me which county and we'll literally give you two of the hottest properties that I find that I would be marketing to right now. So that way you have 200 fresh properties you can upload to your new account and start marketing to them right away. So again, if you guys ever have any questions about batch leads, please hit the like button, comment below. If there's no videos you can't find on how to use certain types of tools, let us know. We would love to create that for you and help you guys on your journey when it comes to real estate investing and using all the tech and marketing gadgets out there. So I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you got any value or you learned something new, go ahead and do me a favor and hit that like button. And then also there should be a subscribe button that pops up right here. You'll definitely want to hit that button too, because every single week, we're always releasing new educational content, tutorials, um, up-to-date stuff to teach you more about real estate investing strategies, marketing, tech tools, softwares, integrations, and all that great stuff to help you scale your business. And then also there should be a couple more videos right here that you should definitely watch. I mean, they're already here. You might as well watch them. If you're, if you're in a playlist of ours, playlist right there, next video right there, definitely you should check out more content that we have. And if you want to, you know, do a quick shout out or ask us a question, hit it in the comment section. We're always responding or replying to everybody. So see you in the next video.